Hello everyone, how are you doing? You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to our channel. On this channel, we pray to God. This is a spiritual channel where we pray to God and seek the face of God. That is all we do, to pray to God, to seek the face of God. And I guide you on how to pray because many of you you pray and pray and you always complain of not getting answers. Do you know how to pray? Is there something you are not doing? So come in and learn all of that. Subscribe and tap the bell beside the subscribe button. You come and watch to receive your blessing. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. Okay? So today, I'm going to show you a powerful prayer that you can wake up at midnight to pray and God will supply all your need. See, don't ever feel that God is not enough. God is enough. God can do all things. God can open your doors. You don't need, you don't need to run heter scatter. You don't need to run from pastors to pastors, even diabolica. You go to traditional priests and all of that, herbalist. God can do it. But if you want to get from God, there are principles, there are principles that we go for your prayers to be answered. Number one, having faith. When you pray and you are faithless, after praying, you are worried. I know we are humans. Nobody is totally innocent, especially when the problem, when that problem has stayed for a longer time. But when that worry comes, speak to it and get up your strength and know the God you serve. It might come. It might come. But don't dwell on it. Don't do that self-pity, pity party. For a long time. No. It shows you don't know the power of God. And secondly, you should always ask for forgiveness. Many of us, we don't know that sin can hinder your prayers. When you are a sinner, when you do evil, that alone is a blockage. With that sin, no matter what you pray, no matter what you pray, it will be as if you are eating on death. Your house is dirty. Everywhere is filthy. And now you are eating. And now you are sleeping. You have to clean your life first to get answer. And the only way, we are humans, but there is a way to clean off that debt by praying for forgiveness. I'm a sinner. You are a sinner. But do not dwell on that sin. Always pray for forgiveness. And be willing to change and to live a better life. And another principle, always thank God. Whenever you go on your knees, give me, give me. When you pray for one thing, you get answer. You just thank God once and that is it. You are forgotten. The next time you need another thing, you start complaining and blaming God as if he has never done anything for you. You need to have a grateful heart. And if you have been ungrateful, go on your knees and tell God to forgive you. Ungratefulness to God is a sin. You are alive. People are dying. People are in the hospital. People are bereaved. But your case is different. Even if you are sick, you are not yet dead. There are people who never fell sick. Accident or any other thing will just happen, you will hear that they are dead. But your case is different. When you are sick, there is hope because you are not dead. So always be grateful. And when you are praying to God, always use what He has done for you to praise Him. To request anything from Him. Lord God, you have done this for me before. Please do this for me. There is power in this prayer. Lord, you gave me this before. You have done it before. You have done it for me before. 
I know that you can do it again. Lord, do it again in my life. God loves that kind of prayer. It shows that you have not forgotten. It shows that you now believe in his power. So wake up at midnight and get your candle. On your candle. Make sure the light from the candle is emitting. Even if you have light, candle is spiritual. It brings brightness as a symbol. When you have a serious prayer to make, you need candle. And that is why in the Roman Catholic Church, you always see different candles on the altar. Candle has spiritual significance. You want light in your life. God is not darkness. God is light. And if you have light, you have blessing. If you have light, you have good things. But if you have darkness, you have the devil. And the devil brings nothing but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. In John 10 verse 10. So pray with your candle. So when you own your candle, you ask God to forgive your sins. One, you thank God. Two, and you read this powerful prayer. Please get your pen and your paper so that you can write down. This is a miracle prayer. Those who pray this are rich. This is a miracle prayer that commands quick answer. And this particular prayer point was taken from five different powerful scriptures five different powerful scriptures including psalm 23 matthew 7 verse 7 and others so it is powerful so get your pen and your paper oh lord my god please i will try to repeat twice because I cannot write this on the screen. So please take your time. You can go back or pause it to get what I have said. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Thank you that your work is perfect. Thank you that your work is perfect. Your ways are always just. Your ways are always just. You are a God of faithfulness. You are a God of faithfulness. You have said that in all things, at all times, you will supply all that I need. You have said that in all things, at all times, you will supply all that I need. Again, you have said, you have said that in all things, at all times, you will supply all that I need. Please help me to trust in your power to bring breakthrough in situations. Please. Help me to trust in your power to bring breakthrough in situations. And I know that I will find solution from you. And I know that I will find solution from you. No matter how difficult my situation might be today, no matter how difficult my situation might be today. You will give me breakthrough. You will give me breakthrough. Oh God, let your glory be above all the earth. Oh God, let your glory be above all the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Read this three times. Don't just read it like a piece of literature. Read it like you are praying with it. 
like you are praying with it. Oh Lord my God, I thank you that your work is perfect. Pray with your hearts opened. When you are done, immediately tell God that one thing that you need. That major problem, you want solution. That difficult situation, you want his help. Tell God what you want. And that is it. Pray this like this for seven days. You will come for testimony. You will come. Read it. Pray while reading it three times. Immediately you wake up from sleep. You ask for forgiveness and thank God. When you are done with this three times, tell God what you want and watch. Watch shocking miracle. Watch your doors getting opened. Watch solutions coming. Watch breakthrough. The result will shock you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And turn on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always get notification. You come and watch. I come here to pray with you every day and I go on live every Sunday. Testimonies are coming. You will be the next to testify. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and God will bless you.